Governor Uzodima leaves office, fear not to return back as governor as Imo faces a fierce gun battle. Okay, my people, no be small matter, Governor. Hope Uzodima don't carry waka as my people they take the tokam. <laughs> no be smart, you know. This is a very serious issue as it don't affect everybody for this emo state i'm still surprised to know um what and what has led to this and um waiting really caused this very issue hmm. my fellow nigerians uh i'm, I'm just still short of words and but uh, with this and with what is going on i know that um everything being equal we are still on on top of the game all right so uh, let's quickly as a matter of uh, let us just go straight into this very content and then let's know what truly truly is the truth about uh about all this you understand okay this is today's news security forces in Imo state comprising the police command and the nigerian army have successfully rescued four kidnapped victims and neutralized one suspect during an operation in Eziaha mba itolu local government area the operation was carried out by the command anti-kidnapping unit asp henry okoye the police command spokesperson confirmed the developments in a statement released on Friday in Oriri. The governor of Uzodima getting to this disappeared and couldn't be seen in his office. He said the Joint Security Forces dismantled a kidnapping syndicate suspected to be members of the indigenous people of Yafra Ipop and its ambling the Eastern Security Network ESN. The operation, which was based on intelligence, led to the neutralization of one suspected Boko and the rescue of four individuals who were abducted along Olo Road on September 29th, Okoye said. The rescued victims were identified as Eze Okoro of Olo local government area, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Mosu, age 44 and 31, both from Ohi in Oweri, West local government area, and 56-year-old Bartholomew from Benue State. Zodima, with fear of not returning back in, from, in, as governor, has flee Imo State. Um, Nigerians, I don't blame Simon. I don't blame Uzodima because... This is what he is known for. This is what he is known for. And uh, if we talk now, they will say we don't talk. You understand? They will say we don't talk. But uh, it's good all these things are happening so that everyone will be seeing it and know that uh, we are not just bluffing. Eh? Yes. So they will know that we are not just bluffing. Imagine your state is on fire. Instead of you to um, to face the fear and help your state, yeah, and help your state to be free from this crisis, you are doing what is not necessary. Yeah? Is that how they do things? No. They don't do things that way. Governor Opuzonima, um, you have lost it this time. You have actually lost it. And um, because you have lost it, that is the reason why the Igbo people will need to do the needful and get you changed. If you cannot face your fears as a governor, then when will you, when will you be able to do that? Huh? When we be able to do that, that is one of those things. Um, my dear listeners, I congratulate you on this very matter. I congratulate you on this matter, and I 
want to encourage you to remain um, focused no matter the crisis we are we are going through everything will better you will better and uh, as for the people in emo state please i want everyone to be at a safe point as a safer point eh? let us not uh, expose ourselves to to crisis to crisis because of these wicked leaders of ours because they are not ready they are not ready to help they have to help or do anything imagine Sio Zodima who is supposed to stay back and help the people now in Japasu yes now it's an experiment to talk about all right um let's uh, quickly hear from you and then let us know what your opinions and what your take on what has just been revealed right now right here in this very broadcast it's a pleasure don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you